All right, this is fourth grade, module two, lesson one. And we're gonna be talking about metric system in, in terms of length. And we're only gonna be focusing on centimeters, meters, and kilometers, and how, the, how these related, are related. We know that um, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And we know that there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. And um, essentially, that's what we want. We just want students to become familiar with these three basic uh, measurement lengths. And in this problem, we're supposed to have um, find the equivalent measures. All right, and what does that mean? So let's start with this seven kilometers, and I'm going to write it down here, and 123 meters. And it looks like they're asking us to figure out how many meters is that. Well, we know that each kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So seven kilometers is equal to seven thousand meters plus we have an extra 123 meters, so that's a total of 7,123 meters. Um, similarly, question B, 22,000 kilometers, I'm sorry, 22 kilometers plus 22 meters. Uh, so we've got 22 kilometers, 22 meters, so each kilometer is a thousand meters. So this is twenty-two thousand meters plus the extra twenty-two meters means we have a total of twenty-two thousand twenty-two meters. And you get the idea. Um, uh, let's skip over to D and seven. Seven meters plus an extra 45 centimeters, and we're supposed to turn that into centimeters only. And one of the things we want students to learn is that each meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So that means we've got 700, instead of saying 7 meters, we have 700 centimeters plus the 45 centimeters that we already had. That gives us 745 centimeters. And uh, let's jump down to problem F, which is 204 meters plus an extra 89 centimeters. Well, each meter is 100 centimeters, so 204, we have 204 copies of 100. <laughs> so that's 20,400 meters, because we take 204 times by 100. So essentially the shortcut, add two zeros. That's 20,400 centimeters, plus we have that extra 89 centimeters, so that's a total of 20,489 centimeters, and that's how we find equivalent measures. Now here, we're going to need to use those equivalent measures in order to subtract, because here's the key thing that's really important to notice. We have different units here. We have kilometers and meters. So we can't just subtract right away just looking at the plain old ba uh, bare numbers. We have to really think about the units. And there's a couple of ways to solve this problem. Uh, one way is to take these two kilometers and convert them into meters. So 2 kilometers is equal to 2,000 meters plus the original 303 meters means together we have 2,303 meters. And now we can subtract the 556 meters because now we have meters and meters. So I should put M and M. So we have 2,303 meters, and we're going to subtract 556 meters using our classic subtraction. So this 300 becomes 200. The zero tens becomes 10 tens. 
but then we can borrow, and that becomes 9 tens, and the 3 becomes 13, and now we can subtract, and we get 13 minus 6 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 4, and then essentially this is 22 minus 5, which is 17, so we have 1,747 meters. 1,747 meters. Now that's not the only way to solve it. We could have solved it a different way. We could have said, well let's see, we've got 2 kilometers and 303 meters and we're going to subtract 556 meters. But the 303 meters is not big enough to subtract 556 meters so I'm going to take one of these kilometers, leaving one, and I'm going to take the one that I'm going to uh, borrow, essentially. I'm going to regroup, and I'm going to take those 1,000 meters and regroup so that we no longer have 303 meters. We now have 1,303 meters. So we're regrouping. And now I can subtract, and I'm going to subtract using the classic subtraction method right here. Well, 3 minus 6, you can't really do. So the 3 becomes a 2, the 0 becomes a 9, and the 3 becomes a 13. Kind of s speeding things along a little bit here. 13 minus 6 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 4, and then 12 minus 5 is 7. So our answer, and then down over here, this is one kilometer, take away zero kilometers, gives us one kilometer, 747 meters. And that is the exact same answer as what we got the first time. So two different ways to get the exact same answer. In this problem, we're supposed to use a tape diagram to model the problem and then simplify somehow, using some sort of strategy. So the length of Celia's garden is 15 meters and 24 centimeters. That's Celia's garden. And the length of her friend's garden is 2 meters 98 centimeters more than Celia's. All right, what is the length of her friend's garden? So we have two people. We have Celia and I'm going to indicate that with a C, and the friend, and I'm going to indicate that with an F. Traditionally, when we use these tape diagrams, we identify our subjects. In this case, it's Celia and friend. And then we begin by drawing identical tapes right here, tape diagrams. So they're identical. Those are supposed to be the same length bars. And then we're going to go back and read the question. It says Celia's garden is 15 meters, 24 centimeters. So I'm going to write 15 meters, 24 centimeters. And then it says the length of her friend, a yeah, friend's garden, is 2 meters, 98 centimeters more than Celia's. So that means we need to add on to the friend's bar. And the friend's bar is 2 meters 98 centimeters longer than Celia's. And don't forget, Celia's was 15 meters 24 centimeters, so that means this initial bar down here on the friend is also 15 meters 24 centimeters. And then, now it says, what is the length of the friend's garden? So that means we're going to find um, the length of the overall garden which means we want to know this total right here. So since we want to know that total, that means we're going to add 15 meters 24 centimeters to 2 meters 98 centimeters. So let's do that. So we're going to scroll down, and we got 15 meters 24 centimeters, and then we can add 2 meters 98 centimeters. A couple of ways we can solve this. I'm going to show a new way here. So let's add the centimeters together. So 4 and 8 is 12, carry the 1. And then 1 plus 2 plus 9 is 12. So we have 122 centimeters. 
and then we have 17 meters. But we know that we can take a hundred of these centimeters and turn it into an extra meter. So that means we're, we're going to have, we're going to end up with 18 meters and 22 centimeters. And that is the length of the friend's garden. And that is our grade four module two, lesson one.